Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a thrift slash secondhand clothing haul. I have some items that I've been buying since like January that I wanted to show you guys. This is a collective haul of things that I've been getting and I haven't done a clothing haul in so long. I'm sorry the lighting keeps changing, the sun keeps going in and out, but a lot of you guys know I stopped buying fast fashion back in, I don't even know, sometime maybe like November or October. So I've been trying to support sustainable brands, slow fashion brands, and just trying to support more like secondhand clothing brands and people on Depop. Before I get into this video though, I just want to say I know I'm not perfect and I'm probably going to make a bunch of mistakes trying to support more brands that are ethically made and sustainable. I just want to throw it out there because I'm bound to mess up and make mistakes, but I really am trying and I am learning every day. So I just wanted to put that out there. But if you guys know of any sustainable brands, if you have a Depop, if you have I don't know, a small brand, anything like that, comment it down below in this video. I would love to check it out. I have a lot of followers that actually send me stuff from their small brands that are handmade and I love those items so much. They're some of my favorite items that I have. So that was everything I wanted to say, I think, before I get into this video. So let's get right into it. So I have the first piece on that I got from Depop. I love this skirt so much. Black cotton skirt and has a really cute slit on both of the sides. I don't know if you saw that. Um, I've been looking for a good skirt like this because I want to wear it like with big sweaters and it's also just like t-shirts so I'm really excited about this. I love Depop though because I can search for something like this. Like I wanted a basic black cotton skirt with slits on the side and I can search just that into Depop and I can scroll for like hours finding the perfect one but if you're looking on like a normal store that only has limited options you're only going to see like maybe one or two or three of those items that are kind of close to what you're looking for so that's why i like looking on depop because i can find exactly what i'm looking for i am so obsessed with this top i don't know how i got so lucky on depop i don't really love this skirt with it maybe not a cotton skirt and a leather skirt maybe would look cute with this anyways i bought one of the buttons um you could also just like wear it i guess just open like this the lace oh my gosh the sleeves maybe up on the screen what the seller listed it as so maybe you guys could use those like keywords whenever looking on depop for something similar but i just love this so much i am obsessed i think this is my new favorite top i seriously got the cutest things from depop look at this corset top how? I don't even know how I found this. Back of it is tearing a little bit. You guys can see that. But I'm going to take it to my seamstress whenever I'm allowed, whenever they're open, and ask them to fix it. I think they could just like stitch it up. It's going to be such a cute going out top or just any kind of top, but I mean, I probably would wear it more for like going out. So the next three pieces are from Goodwill. I went to Goodwill like four months ago when I was at home in Pittsburgh. So I just got this white button up and I actually got this really because I like the collar a lot. It was a good collar that I could wear over like, that I could wear under sweatshirts and stuff like that. So I really like the collar and I can just wear this so many different ways. I can wear it open like this. I can button it up. I can use this as like a beach cover up. Just a white button up, nothing too crazy. This is the next piece from Goodwill. I just got this yellow Michigan sweater and I literally got it to do an outfit like this. I love the like oversized sweater, the collar, collar shirt under it, and a skirt, like that preppy vibe, so cute. I would probably wear this with like dogs. These dogs would be really cute with tall socks. Messy bun vibe with some pieces hanging down, you know? I look crazy right now, but you get the vibe. Okay, so I think Actually, this would look this would look really cute with like a headband. I don't know if I like it better like this sweater or have like a little bit of the shirt showing underneath. Just trying to see what I don't know. Let me know what you guys think looks best. You can have like a shirt showing a little bit. I have no idea what this looks like. My mirror's all the way over there. And then I got this cropped butterfly tube top from Riri Apparel. It is a black owned business. And I actually got two things from her, but the other top that I got just like didn't fit me right, so I sold it sold it on Depop. But I really like this top because it's just super simple. I, I can dress this up, dress it down. I actually wore it with like sweat shorts the other day, and it was really cute, and a bunch of jewelry. Or I can 
you know, dress it up too. She sells secondhand items, reworked items. Um, I think that's mostly like it. So secondhand or reworked items. So I think this is one of the secondhand items that I got. I have two pieces from Overschooled and ignore the skirt with this top. But the owner, Maddie, I, I don't know what's going on. So I don't know. I placed an order. I bought this stuff I think, like in January. The two things I'm going to show you. But then I placed an order in April and it never got to me. I messaged her a couple of times. And she like reached out to me one time saying like her office got broken into or something and then I messaged her a couple other times she never like responded to them and I actually had a few of you guys DM me saying that you placed orders I never got them so I don't know what's happening and I've ordered from her multiple times and this has never happened I just want to give you guys that heads up before I show you guys these items um, she has a lot of like handmade thrifted vintage pieces maybe you should send her a dm before purchasing her items anyways i got this leather vest from her it's very cute i know i can wear this so many different ways i'm going to get a lot of use out of it i actually wore this already with like just button up nothing under it and then a bunch of gold jewelry look really cute you can unbutton this all the way and just have it open like this or you can wear like a t-shirt long sleeve shirt anything and then this on top of it and that would look really cute so there's just so many different ways to wear this piece i'm obsessed with it this is the other top that i got from over school this fits me so nice i love it it's really thick good quality um it has a zipper right here and i've worn this in one of my vlogs before so you guys have seen this probably just wear this with like a bunch of old jewelry i think that's what i did and then um black pants you could wear this with so many different pairs of pants oh my gosh i got a pair of pants from her I completely forgot I bought these pants because I told you guys I bought this stuff back in like January. But I always am really hesitant to buy pants on online that I can't try on. But these fit me really well. And I just recommend always trying to like size up if you can if you're buying online and you can't return it because you can always get it altered to your body. I forgot to show you something that I got from Goodwill, which is the best thing that I got from Goodwill. When I saw these and saw that they were my size, I screamed. I couldn't believe that I found these in Goodwill. And they're brown, like a, yeah, they're like a dark brown, which I love because I don't have any dark brown boots. And I love the toe, it's like a square toe. And I can wear these like anywhere since the heel isn't too tall. I really scored with this one. Okay, anyways, so the next items that I'm going to show you are from People of Los Angeles. It's actually the bag that my stuff came in. I believe that they select things from Los Angeles, like vintage shops and stuff like that, and then they put it all online. So they have some really good pieces on there. So the first thing that I got from there is this Betty Boop shirt. And my mom's my mom is obsessed with Betty Boop. She has a Betty Boop tattoo, and I wanted to get it. It just reminds me of my mom. So this is the front of the shirt and then you can also see her on the back which I thought was adorable. It's very like worn and it has a couple of stains but I don't think it's too bad. I can still wear it. I can wear it to bed. I can dress it up, dress it down, throw it on really quick to like go get groceries or like dress it up and wear it with a skirt like this and then like these docks and tall socks. That would look really cute. A bunch of gold necklaces. And the next thing I got from do they say like Pola instead? I would assume so because that's what this bag says, Pola. I got this red t-shirt. Again, I feel like I could dress this up, dress it down, wear it to bed. So many different possibilities with this. I could even tie it and wear it as like a little crop with a skirt. I feel like it would look cute maybe with like a cheetah skirt or something like that. Um, some gold jewelry. This is the last top I have. I don't like this with the skirt. I honestly tried on a couple of pairs of pants. With this top and i didn't really like any i don't know what kind of pants i should wear or like a skirt with this i don't know i'm not like in love with anything yet so let me know if you guys have any ideas it has some lace trimming right here and then it cuts into like a v right here with more lace trimming it's just really really pretty and i love the detailing of it i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this too once i figure out what kind of bottoms i like with this so yeah this is the last item that I wanted to show you guys. That was all it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try my best to link everything down below. The websites that I mentioned and I think I might try to also put the brand tag of the items. For Depop, I will like put the titles of the clothing items so you guys can see what the seller title did and maybe that can help you guys with your searches on Depop. So 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys all so much and i will see you guys in the next one